Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's finally time for me to use my shards to get the, that legendary Phantom Dragon Eye. I saved during the weekend. I wanted to have the exclusive 5 on my Jingle Bell, but with that amount of excellent and supreme wish, yeah, better try my luck next time. So I decided to summon on that event to get the legendary Phantom Dragon Eye because today I need a ton. We had some uh, hero buffs and I didn't forget to try them, but I figured out that I am like some exclusives on them. I have Aisha exclusive one, I have Luz exclusive one, Claude exclusive one as well, so I thought that I had more copies of them in fact in the past. So I need eyes to level them up and try them in some content because apparently Aisha is really nice today in many contents and especially in PvP because she has crazy damage. So the only thing I know today about these heroes is that they are great, but take it easy because this is Bailey and he has crazy stats on his heroes and probably he had a great stuff on Lurz and he was able to beat a Sun Wukong, a huge team with a Lurz inside. So I'm curious to try that by myself with my own stats and to make my own advice on that. And as well, he tried with Aisha and the result was even better than with Lurz. Apparently she has crazy damage and I really want to try that because look at that that time it's another Kraken in front this is banned and the the result with Aisha is just stunning in comparison with her potential before he tried Luz as well versus bosses because I asked him to do for that for me and this is the result he had with a direct damage team uh, including Luz inside and so the result is not that big in my opinion for a Kraken account this so Luz is still not that great on a boss and if if you are using him in a team, in direct damage team with Bofani and Dez, yes they are increasing a lot the damage you deal in a direct damage team, then you have a better score but still the same damage with Luz, so I think that he is still lacking damage today to fight versus bosses, but I want to try that by myself. And then you have him versus the guild boss with that direct damage team and yeah he killed the boss within 17 turns, 10 turns using that team and 8 turns using that, so it's still less efficient than Indra and Dianmu, way less in fact. So enough talk, let's begin the summon, and who knows, maybe I'm gonna have some copies of the heroes that got a buff last week, let's find out. So I'm gonna do some 10 pulls only, until I get the eye. Hope I can get lucky, generally I have more luck on this kind of event than on the banners. I don't know why, maybe it's pure luck? But we are gonna see that. So I'm 108 away from the PD. And I finally have that one. This is the only epic hero I didn't have. I'm happy that that's only for the collection, but I'm happy to complete that. Okay, still nothing. 78, 68, 58, 48. Okay, we are closer to the PD now. So who do you think am I gonna get? A good hero? An old hero? A useless Vera? I'm curious. Oh, early one! A useless hero, Margarita. This is almost the same as Vera. <laughs> okay, so this is not really lucky. But I have enough to reach another PD, so let's go. I'm gonna accelerate it just a bit. Because I don't really like when it's too long. Okay, only one. And that's an Igor. Okay, I don't care about that hero, to be honest. He needs a buff. I thought it was Claude. Okay, so I was lucky I cut the PD. Okay, let's accelerate it a bit more again. 112. 102. 92. Okay, uh... I need to cut otherwise I won't have the pity or I'm gonna need to buy a bit more excellent wishes. But I don't think I want to. Because I am saving my diamonds to buy some extra miracle runes for this Friday and the new limited hero. So let's start with the supreme now. So let's do some 10 pulls. And finger crossed. I didn't pay attention to the to the PD though. I don't know where I am. Far away apparently. <laughs> okay, legendary. And that's a Gustav. 
Okay, this is really bad. Only bad heroes for now. A full purple. Amazing. Amazing luck. Forget what I said about my luck on that event though. Focus, this is a great pool. Another one. A rest wow, three heroes. Okay, Rista was exclusive five already. Um, she she was exclusive two, I guess, or three, I don't remember. I think two. And my focus was exclusive two, so this is the hero I want the most today on my account. And he is exclusive two now, thanks to that. Super happy about that. And I got the eye. Yeah, of course I got the eye. 2600 plus uh, 3000. Of course I have the eye. So you know what? Let's finish my Supreme Wish. I have only two. And who knows, maybe I can get another legendary hero during the session. Or maybe not. Okay, so today my sanctuary, my normal sanctuary is full and I have another copy to put in the incarnate sanctuary and I'm gonna have 10% more shield effect on my defenders. And this is a huge buff. Like my Nordak is gonna give a huge shield to my heroes now thanks to that. 49 heroes in the Incarnate Sanctuary. This is so many heroes. And the next one I would like to have... Yeah, every drop rates one. Once the, these ones are amazing. It's, it's helping a lot to get more gear. But you need so many heroes inside of it. I want that one. It's gonna help me a lot for my Esther. She's gonna have more healing effects and I'm gonna be able to increase higher her effect resistance and lower her healing effect. But I'm gonna need 17 more heroes in the Incarnate Sanctuary to, to get that, so that's a lot. So guys, that was all for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I hope that you had been lucky if you decided to pull on that event also. And have a nice day, see you in the next one, bye bye.